हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रितिका जोजगर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आईटी डिपार्टमेंट दिस इज अ कोर्स ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वी डिस्कस अबाउट मेनी थिंग सो यूनिट थ्री इज बेस्ड ऑन नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड रीजनिंग वेयर वी ऑलवेज डिस्कस अबाउट द रीजन रीजनिंग अंडर अनसर्टिनिटी ओके सो इन द रीजनिंग अंडर अनसर्टिनिटी सो देर इज अ वन पार्ट दैट इज अ नॉन मोनोटोनिक रीजनिंग सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द मोनोटोनिक रीजनिंग एंड द नॉन मोनोटोनिक रीजनिंग सो द मोनोटोनिक रीजनिंग मीन्स वॉट द रीजनिंग अंडर अनसर्टिन सॉरी मोनोटोनिक रीजनिंग मीन्स वॉट रीजनिंग अंडर सर्टिनिटी दैट मीन्स वी कैनॉट चेंज और वी कैनॉट वैरी सम स्टेटमेंट और सम सेंटेंसेज बट इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द नॉन मोनोटोनिक रीजनिंग द सम नॉलेज और सम फैक्ट्स विल वैरी और चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टेटमेंट और द सेंटेंसेज सो दिस नॉन मोनोटोनिक रीजनिंग इज अ part of uncertainty okay so this video so in this video we will discuss about the types of non monotonic reasoning and the truth maintaining system in the non monotonic reasoning so let us discuss here the first is a types of non monotonic reasoning so in the non monotonic reasoning system the new information can be added which will cause the deletion or the alteration of the existing knowledge for example imagine uh, we have invited someone to our house for the dinner so in the absence of any other information we may make uh, an assumption that uh, our guest eats meat and will like the chicken and later we discover that the guest is in fact a vegetarian and the inference that our guest like chicken become invalid okay so this is a part of a non monotonic reasoning so there are two types of non monotonic reasoning first is the abduction and the second thing is a property inheritance so the first thing is a abduction so it will involves uh the inferring some information on the basis of the current evidence so they may be changed if uh, new evidence comes to light and which is a characteristics of the non monotonic reasoning so for example we might infer that the child was has a spot has a misplaced mis and if the evidence comes to light or refute these assumptions for example the spots are yellow and not red then we replace the inference with another so in the property inheritance it is also the non monotonic reasoning and it is the instance or the subclass will inherit the characteristics of the parent class unless it has a alternative or the conflicting values for that characteristics okay so the system to deal with such a non monotonic knowledge is called as a truth maintenance system that is a tms okay so the main objective of uh, the tms is the maintenance of the knowledge base the this tms is a mechanism for keeping the track of dependencies and detecting the inconsistencies okay so it is also called as a reason maintenance system so in this truth ma truth maintenance system which implements to permit a form of non monotonic reasoning by permitting the additions of changing statements to a knowledge base so it is also called as a belief revision or the revision management system so this is a simple architecture of truth maintenance system we have a inference engine we have a truth maintenance system knowledge base okay so here the knowledge base uh, the inference engine uh, tells something to the truth maintenance system and the tms is asked to the inference engine okay so this is a problem solver so how what is the role of this truth maintenance system so the first role is the main job of tms is to maintain the consistency of a knowledge being used by the problem solver and not to perform any inference function then the second is tms also gives the inference component the latitude to perform the non monotonic inferences third thing is when discovery is made this more recent information can displace the previous conclusion that are 
no longer valid the fourth one is the tms maintains the dependency records for all such conclusions okay so here the actually the tms does not discard the conclusions uh, like you as a suggest suggested suggested okay so that could be the wasteful the p may again become valid okay so which would require the q and the fact justified by the q is a received so instead the tms maintains a dependency record for all such conclusions this record determine which set of beliefs are current that means the q removed from the current belief set of set by making the appropriate update and uh by making the appropriate update to the records not by the erasing the queue so queue would not be lost so it's uh, it would be uh, it would not be necessary if p become the valid once again okay the fifth is the tms the procedure used to perform this procedure uh process that says the dependency directed backtracking so here the tms maintains the complete record by records of reasons of justification for beliefs so each proposition or the statement having at least one valid justification make a part of the current belief set so the statements are lacking the acceptable justification exclude from this set so when the some contradiction discovers the statement responsible for the contradiction identifies and an appropriate one retracts so this is turn may result in other retractions and the additions so the procedure used to perform this process that may, that says that the dependency directed backtracking the sixth one is tms maintain to reflect an addition so that the inference engine okay so that this inference engine will always know its current belief set so the record maintain in this form of a dependency network the first we have a node in the network represent the kb that is knowledge base entries such as premises conclusion inference rules and the like so and the attached to the nodes are justification that represent the inference steps from which the nodes derive so these are the rule of a root maintenance system so next thing is the working principle of tms so the inference engineer that is the ie solved nomen problems based on its current belief set okay as i already said here okay based on the current belief set so so which the this two uh, maintenance system the currently active the belief set the updating process is incremental so after each inference information exchange between the two component that is the inference engine tell the tms what deduction is has made and the tms in the turn ask a question about the certain belief and reasons for the failure so if maintain a consistent set of belief for the inference engine to work with even if no now knowledge is added or removed so there are different steps in this uh, truth maintenance system step 1 is the say the kb contain the propositions p implies that q and the modus ponens okay so this is our uh, we have a no, uh, knowledge rule for in this kb that is the is in the form of a modus ponens rule p implies p is a true then q is a true okay p is a true and the p implies q is a true then we can say that conclude that q is also true okay so this is a modus ponens rule the step 2 is from this the inference engine would rightfully conclude that q and add this conclusion to the kb okay in the knowledge base we have the p is a true and p implies a q implies is a true so inference engine is would rightfully conclude that if a p is a true p implies q is a true then q is also true by using the modus ponens rule 
Stately is what it is was learned that T was appropriate and it would be added to the KB resulting in the contradiction and step 4 is consequently it would be necessary to remove the P to eliminate the inconsistency ok so this is a simple working of truth maintenance system because see here if a P is a true P implies Q is a true and we can easily conclude that the Q is a true so from this also P implies Q also we can easily conclude that the Q is a true so here P here we are removing the P ok and maintaining the consistency so this is the working of the root maintenance system thank you